क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी लीकेज करंट दैट इज रिवर्स सैचुरेशन करंट इन कॉमन एमेजर कॉन्फिग्रेशन हाउ इट जनरेटेड एंड वट इट्स इफेक्ट ऑन द ऑपरेशन ऑफ ट्रांजिस्टर सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द टॉपिक Common emitter configuration is nothing but the configuration in which emitter terminal is considered as a common terminal. Now, in this case, the base emitter junction is considered as the input, and collector emitter junction is considered as output. So let's understand the operation of transistor in two condition. That means when switch S is open and when switch S is closed. So let's look at the diagram. So under normal operation, that means when switch S is closed. the emitter base junction is forward bias by connecting positive terminal of battery to the emitter and negative terminal of battery to the base and collector emitter junction is reversed bias by applying negative terminal to the p region and positive terminal to the emitter region so when emitter base junction is forward bias and collector emitter junction is reversed bias the whole start moving from emitter to the base and this constitute emitter current ie the movement of hole causes the flow of current the direction of flow of current is same as the direction of flow of holes in pnp transistor so in case of pnp transistor the current flows due to the movement of holes and not because of the movement of electrons so after emitter region the holes enter into the base region at the base region the holes get combined with the electrons as width of base region is small very few holes get recombined with the electron and constitute a current that is base current the value of base current is small as the base width is small next the holes start moving towards the collector region most of the holes move towards the collector region because very few holes get combined with the electrons in base region so the collector current is get formed that is called as ic the collector current having maximum value as compared to base current because most of the holes injected to the collector region from the emitter region so the collector current is also called as injected current so this is what happen when switch s is closed now when switch s is get open then what will happen let's have a look of that when s is get open the forward biasing of base emitter junction is get disconnected because of that the base current becomes equal to zero but there is a collector current due to the thermally generated minority carrier and that is called as reverse saturation current or leakage current but there is also a current causes due to the movement of electron from base to emitter junction in case of common emitter configuration the leakage current flows from emitter to collector and it is denoted by iceo and it is given by iceo is equals to ico plus beta into ico so we can say in common emitter configuration the collector current can be given as ic is equals to beta into ib that is the collector current produced due to the normal transistor action when switch s is closed plus beta 1 plus beta into ico that is the leakage current or reverse saturation current so from this equation we will come to know that the collector current is depend upon the value of beta the reverse saturation current depend upon the value of temperature so as temperature is get change or when it, it is get increase or decrease it will changes the value of reverse saturation current for every 10 degree celsius increase or decrease in the value of temperature causes doubles the value of reverse saturation current so in case of common emitter configuration the value of beta is usually considered as 100 which is given by the manufacturer only so we can say that in case of common emitter configuration the collector current it beta times ib which is beta times larger than the collector current in common base configuration so this is what about the operation of leakage current in common emitter configuration so in common emitter configuration collector current is also produces because of the normal transistor action and because of the reverse saturation current 
in this case the electrons are considered as a minority carrier and they get generated because of the effect of temperature and they are called as thermally generated minority carrier and diffusion of this minority carrier across base emitter junction produces a reverse saturation current so this is what about a leakage current in common emitter configuration so i hope you understand this topic so thank you very much for watching this video stay tuned to ikira subscribe ikira thank you